Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? We are back. We at it again. Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Big Ja, uh-huh. along with my co host, Undercover Tone. Undercover Tone. Undercover Tone. I'm, Undercover I'm, Tone. I'm, I started to say into tone, but then I said pause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just because you never know, man, <laughs> right. how that how that can be received. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. In two tone. Yeah. Pause. Pause and yeah, yeah, pause. I'm gonna pause on uh, that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hit you with one of the uh with a camera on our mace. That's crazy. Yeah, it was so wow. crazy. It was so you know what <laughs> oh man, this the, hey <laughs> the name of this movie is mm-hmm. already Pause worthy. It's very pause. You know what I'm saying? There's some pause. There's some pause worthy shit in this film. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. Yikes! Yep, we'll get there. All right, man. So, uh, black, uh, black, uh, big jaw, uh, um, undercover. undercover tone, undercover tone, undercover tone. Yeah. Uh, 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 still a slight pause. There. It's, it's, it feels pausey, yeah, so, but but I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with it. Just undercover. Yeah, undercover tone. What so happens uh, there? Yeah, consenting adult. Boom. <laughs> or clothes over a meal. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, man, we doing In Too Deep today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and black bust In Too Deep, mm-hmm. uh, starring Omar Epps, LL Cool J, mm-hmm. Pam Greer. Yeah. And Nia Long. Nia Long is in there. We get Nia Long's up in there, man. We get a little Hill Harper. A little Hill Harper. Shout out to Hill Harper. Yeah. Who did his thing? Yeah. Here's the thing. He's the good. One, the person that Hill Harper is now, I was like, I forgot. Oh, he was in Too Deep. He mm-hmm. didn't play a little gangster dude. He's come and, a long way. Like, yes. he's really upstanding. Like, I think yeah. he's running for Congress or like Senate now. Yes. But like, he could play Booger and he could he play could this play guy. Yeah, he could yeah. play a little street dude. A little yeah. street dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, yeah. We had an, an early Anjane Ellis uh, yeah. as Denise. Denise. Yeah. Yes. She's on her way. She's on her way. Oh, um, she did a thing. Uh, I, okay, in too deep, man. And the, and and special shout out. I know he's I know he's a white person, uh-huh. but he's really good in this movie. Okay, give it up for my man Stanley Tucci. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dug him, Stanley Tucci. Yeah. Uh, he plays detective or lieutenant. Was it Stanley Tucci? Uh, D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio. Preston D'Ambrosio. Yes, Preston D'Ambrosio. <laughs> that's a, a, a hell of a name. A lot of vowels. That's, that's super Italian. <laughs> and he plays the uh, he plays the officer that gets um the main character Omar Epps character yeah. Jay Reed into uh you no know, Jeff 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 Coles. Mm-hmm. Officer Jeff Coles. So in too deep is about uh, a young uh officer who just he just joins the academy, the police academy, and he instantly wants to, he's a rookie, and he instantly wants to uh. Was to start doing undercover work. Yep. I uh, I don't want to be a beat cop. I want to be a, not just a detective. I want to be an undercover detective. Mm-hmm. Put me in, coach. Put me in. And and he has no no resume. He has no portfolio. Has no experience except that he's from the hood, and he's hungry. And 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 that saying? is, that's a selling point. Yeah. Like he's like nobody, nobody in this academy, nobody in this force. Knows the streets like I know the streets, and we and we hear we, there's a conversation about that later on because mm-hmm. Neil Long says it. Yep, like nobody comes from where, I, where I'm from and becomes a police officer, right? A cop. We don't become cops. That's why I'm so the perfect person I'm the for perfect this job. Candidate, and for you to get closer to street thugs and, and drug lords, mm-hmm. there's no one that can get closer to them than me, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I could have been them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm Instead authentic. Of, I'm authentic, and I'm and no one's going to be able to detect that I'm a cop. Yep, and so. He um that argument wins, and he actually becomes uh he does some undercover work early yeah and as like a little tester you know what I'm saying yeah yeah and uh he does good he does well he does well like 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 Nas was almost well I forgot Nas was in this movie Nas was in the movie bro <laughs> uh-huh. and he he was better in this than he was in Belly oh my gosh <laughs> they saw this it was like okay we, 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 let's yeah just put it in yeah. Belly they was like ah you, but you might have gave him too much to chew. You know but, what I'm saying? But the the way at that point he's not even Jay Reed, but the way Omar Epps finesses that situation with aggression. Yeah. It's so funny how like in this movie, aggression equals authenticity. Right. Right? Like, you know, whenever the the situation called for it, people were more likely to believe that that he was real he was with the smoke. The most the more aggressive he got. More abrasive. Yeah. 
Not I I don't give a fuck. He had mm-hmm. enough of that, more of that. They, That's okay. what convinced him. Okay. So in that 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 first early buy, it was his aggressiveness that convinced Nas that like you can't be a cop be, because of how you act. Because both cops, I, 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 cops that are not from the hood, they try mm-hmm. to do undercover work because they're black. Yeah. They try to be cool. Yes. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm trying. I'm trying to make some money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what, what are we doing? We maybe getting me doing business or what? Yeah. And they're <laughs> like, nah, so nigga. I, that could be real. We know yeah. gangsters like that. We know street dudes like that. But we don't know you, and you're too comfortable. You're too comfortable, and you're too casual. Yeah. To be that familiar. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so obvious. I mean, when we think about how bad the undercover cops were paid, were and paid in full, it's that same vibe. Yeah. Hey, that, man, how y'all doing? Y'all hey, cool? everything cool? You got any drugs? Hey, hey, hey. You got any business? You got I'm, any drugs? I'm trying to get high. Hey, man, we out here getting high now. What we doing, man? We getting <laughs> right, high? Right, right, Come right. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cop, get yeah, out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Shake your hands all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't want to dap you, bro. I don't know you. you I don't know you. You shouldn't want to dap me either. Mm-hmm. Hey man, I, I I'm looking to do some business, bro. Yeah, yeah, got some work on y'all. What are we doing, man? We all right? You know, I you said what? I, am I cop? Fuck you! I ain't no cop. Yeah, yeah. I've never I've never sold drugs before. Right. And I don't know if this is a Hollywood trope. So I'd love to talk to an actual like corner boy to find out. Like I imagine, like if I imagine I worked in a grocery store, I imagine. 85% of my customers are people I see on a regular basis, mm-hmm. right? A very small percentage of people that, like, are just randos just to happen to be in this grocery store. Right. So I imagine if you're a corner boy, you're used to serving the same fiends predominantly all the time. Right. So a rando walking up trying to score that doesn't necessarily look like the people you're used to serving stands out I'm like, like a mile. Mm-hmm. Even he, even though he met the dude with, uh, with aggression, if I'm not, I'm still not selling you. Why am I giving you drugs, nigga? You, yeah. You're not a crackhead. Yeah. You don't look like a crackhead. You don't look like a crackhead. You don't look dirty. Mm-hmm. You don't look desperate. You don't even look like you look, like you do drugs. Mm-hmm. Why am I giving you drugs? Yeah. He gave him like a pill. Yeah. Or like, like, a, like a, it was like a pill. You know what I'm saying? Or a, a, a little a vial of cocaine or mm-hmm. some shit. Or a crack. He gave it to him like he sold it to him right here, and he walked. He took that one little thing and walked off. I'm like, nah, nigga, I just gave, I just gave some just crack to, 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 a, to cop. a cop because I, and that was his like that. That was his like uh his audition, yeah, to do bigger to shit. do bigger shit. I'm like, ah, I don't know, <laughs> nah. I like like, and that's the part that's like, okay, how much of this is real life? How much of it is because like the from what I imagine, the type of walk down the block fiends are like you said, man, like. These are the bottom of the barrel. Right. Right? Like, like these are, you know, these are not pull up in a car. He was clean. These are not shaving. your white, yeah, these are not your white collar, you right. know, week weekend junkies. Like, these are the ones that just VCR, just stole a VCR to, to right. get this dough. Yeah. So in that particular instance, yeah, I'm still like, cop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care but, how angry you are. Were you trying to buy yeah. one you trying to buy one crack rock? Yeah. That's it? That's it? Nah. You want me to believe that you're not a cop? Okay, I mm-hmm. get that. But you want me to believe that you that you that you a crackhead? Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. Come on. But for the purposes of the story, yeah. it shows that our boy J. Reed can handle himself. Can handle yeah. himself. Yeah. Boom. He can convince people that he's not. Yes. All right. Yes. So he did that, and then the the officer was like, "Okay, cool. Now we're gonna step you up. We're gonna step you up to uh, under do undercover work in Cincinnati mm-hmm. and try to take down God." But but even before that, mm-hmm. we got baby girl that graduated from Eastside High. Um, that was uh, <laughs> I, I, I wanted better for her um, when they kind of gave him the little test ground with the with the Puerto Rican, you know, yes. uh, uh, Mexican folks. Yes, that 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 were buying and, and right, and he's in there dancing with the chicks. Bruh, and, yeah. First of all, I'm not dancing with your sister right in front of you. That part right there. Even if, it's okay, man. It's cool. Nah, no, bro. It ain't no. cool for me. Nope. It ain't cool for me. Nope. And it's not like we do it's not like we do the bank head bounce. Yeah. I do that. I'll nope. dance with your sister. If we have, if, I'm, if I'm at the crib, I can dance with me. Mm-hmm. And she doing this and we just two stepping. Now nah, we, we we uh what was that? Bachata or we don't know yeah. what they was doing. They were doing some kind of like salsa dance together. Hips. Hips involved. You gotta yeah. hold her by the waist. Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't and, I don't dance for a long time. I didn't dance. Like you remember when you get an invitation to like a random barbecue? Mm-hmm. It might not it was somebody like it's like two to three degrees of separation. Yeah, you remember that? You know, you uh-huh. you just out, or even in college, and he'd be like, "This guy we know is having a party. He's cool." Da 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 da. da. Like I was on my best behavior at those parties because you don't know who is who, and 
I'm not going to let, I'm never going to dance with somebody's sister, regardless of, right. of where I'm at. If the brother is there, I'm not dancing. Yeah. And under that circumstance, specifically, where I'm dealing with drug dealers, Come I'm on, not man. dancing with a drug dealer. We're doing business. We do. I'm not here in here today. They don't feel like dancing because they're doing business. Why? But I, I but at the same time, according to the story, mm-hmm. he wanted to get in their good graces. He wanted to make them feel like he was part of the family. So yes, I'll dance with your sister. Right. She's flirting with me, and she and she flirting with the nigga too. Like, yeah. hey, man, chill out with the flirting. Right. I'm trying to do business with your brothers, man. He's yeah. back. Yeah, you about to. You about I'm to not here my, for that. Man, <laughs> yeah, man. Right. right. You about to make them feel some type of way about me. Yeah. Stop. And and they just finished dropping in bombs. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you know, like so they obviously racist. Yeah. Like you know, so it's just like this whole thing is uncomfortable. Like God would never do that. Right. <laughs> the only way. Hold on, mm-hmm. because he was getting called nigger and eggplant at the end, and mm-hmm. he laughed it off. So you know, yeah, he, he was cause I, for him to be God. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, you a little too late, you a little yeah. too late. But then again, he might be thinking the bigger picture is let me get the money from these crackers, and um, that's a very and then boom. yeah, that's a yeah. very good point be- right. because as familiar as they were, they were never comfortable, right? Right, like you know, just it mm-hmm. might have been like like this is a we are necessary bed partners, right? right. Like right. you know, right. we this is all business. We ex- this is not per this is not so you can say whatever you want to say. Yeah. Give me the shit. Yeah. Take my money. He said, oh, you can count my money, but, but I, can't I can't taste, count your, I can't taste, taste your cocaine? Yeah. So you're a nigger, God. Yeah. He said, like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> right, right. Jeepers. Right. Uh-huh. Um, so, all right. But he gets caught up with, so, so going back to that, the deal falls apart because the, the mom is, is very suspicious. Right. You Actually, know, she don't trust, she, uh, at this point, he's, it, it, he's not Jay Reed yet, is he? He's not Jay Reed. Dude, I don't think we have a name for him yet. Because because we are still because God operates out of Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. He's still in Cleveland. Yeah. So so, which which is a nitpick that they think that like he could be come on man that he could be doing stuff in, in Cleveland right and then get or that, Akron yeah or yeah and get that deep undercover in Cincinnati. Like, I know it's a big state, but we're talking major city to major city. Right. You know, like, if you're going to have them do that, like, have them go down south or have them go to Indiana or have them yeah. go to, like, West Virginia. Yeah. You can't think that, oh, Cleveland or Cincinnati, he could be a totally different person. Right. That he was good. Good. I go T and yeah. cut my little dreads yeah, exactly. off. Exactly. Nah. <laughs> like, he and needed a little bit more. When he got there, he was like, I'm from Akron. Okay. Yeah. Akron is right there. Yeah. A couple hours away. But they, but they were treating it like... Like it's almost kind of like here in LA, right? Like if we're in LA and you go where you from, it goes, yeah, I'm, I'm from Palmdale. Well, people would be like, that's far out. But to people that do dirt, they know somebody. Yeah, in I know Palmdale. somebody in at least all the neighboring cities. Yeah, that and that part was like, like for God to have the empire. When he disapp- yeah, for God to have the empire that he had, worth eleven he million. He had to have eyes in Akron. Right. He had to Come be on, moving man. something in Akron, especially if Jay Reed's supposed to be a player. In he's supposed to be a factor. They should like God should have been able to hey man, make a uh, call. Uh, you know a guy out there in Akron um, now, named Jay Reed. Jay Reed, yeah, yeah, dark skin brother man with a goatee, bald yeah. head. Yeah, I know, I know Jay Reed. Da, 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 da. But, yeah, but, but and they, they was like, nah, I don't know him. But I know, but but go God knows that this dude is a factor. This guy he's calling is a factor in Akron. Yes, he's one of the factors. He yes. might not. He might be East Side Akron, South Side mm-hmm. Akron. But he would know Jay Reed, yeah, who who's supposed to be a money maker in Akron that's right. trying to expand right. in Cincinnati. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's a whole. That's 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 a, that's a, that's a little bit, hole. A little but nitpick. I did notice that too. Yeah. That like mm-hmm. the Cincinnati to Cleveland thing was a little too too close for comfort. Yeah. But if you suspend all of that, this movie is hitting so far. It's still hitting. <laughs> it's still hitting. <laughs> right. It's, like, still, it's, it's still, still still working. Uh huh. Um, we don't know. So God ends up getting introduced to Jay Reed. Mm-hmm. Um, he finally he he uh his cover gets blown with the with the Latinos, right? Right. But it still works out because he fought them off mm-hmm. and he still got them arrested. And it's and it's a good showing, right? Mm-hmm. Because in that particular instance, I what they've essentially said is is that like this is not your fault. This is the bad wiring, right? Like, right. you know, we, but he kind of played it off, man. Like, I'm going to lift my shirt up, da-da-da. Mama grabbed the shit, caught the wire, kind of went to hell from there. But it wasn't like you fucked up, right? Like, right. you know, she got onto the wire. wasn't nothing else that you could do. 
But they've decided because of what you've done and how you've handled yourself, now we're ready to go take on God. Mm-hmm. And and we get into the J. Reed, and that's when the movie gets, starts getting great. Right. That's when it starts getting great. Yeah. J. Um, Reed was believable. Nah, like, J. Reed, he was, he was, he was yeah, real he was, believable. Yeah, he was. The goatee, the jacket, yeah. the chain. The demeanor. The demeanor. Yeah. But they never really established how J. Reed got Met in with Booker's Hill character. Harper. Hill yeah. Harper. We never, they yeah. never, because Hill was vouching for him tough. Tough. And like, kind of like spoon feeding him information. Like, yeah. Hey, bro, like talking him up. Yeah. Like, we never, like, like, I don't know if, like, if there's a piece of the movie that we're missing that they cut. Right. But, like but the director's I think we cut. needed that. We needed to figure out how J. Reed and Breezy T are so close. The same way we knew how yeah. Scotty and J and uh, G Money. Exactly. Kinda, yeah. Exactly. It was a brief one. It was just, a, just one scene mm-hmm. explaining how they met each other. Right. I got this connect. I got this guy. Okay. Because Breezy's not a corner boy. Mm-hmm. Breezy is is one of four of God's yeah. closest. He's right. He's right in the in, in the in the in the truck with him. Yeah. So, everywhere they go. Right. So the fact that like Jay Reed is able to literally walk right to the foot of the throne to meet how? God. I like even a unbl- uh, one scene that let us know why how Rico and Mitch got in. Exactly. That one scene in prison, mm-hmm. in jail. That one scene, hey, man, he held me down in, in, in jail, bro. So he out now, man. He out here looking for bread. He a soldier, and he ready to work, and he loyal. He had my back when he didn't have to. Yeah. So I know he's going to have my back out here. Yeah. That was perfect how they explained that. Yep. So even with the, uh, it could have been a situation where, uh, um, Hill Harper's character was out about doing something and something went crazy, and mm-hmm. he 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 purposely put himself in the position to help him, yep, aid him in some way and gain yep. his trust that fast as possible. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't get that. Yeah, you know I'm saying that was cool. That's another another little nitpick. And and to me, these are just these are like light turbulence right. on a flight to a great not make or breaks, right? right? Like doesn't make or break it, mm-hmm. but we take tally for but for a movie that is relatively solid, kind of everywhere else. Mm-hmm. It's like little kind of like little flimsy things like that. Right. And then for for God, the test was, you know, was was Jay Reed able to handle himself with the mitts? Yeah. You know, which, which he was. Mm-hmm. And then and then it was, of course, to like try to put in some work. So God did test him. God yeah. like like God gave him that quick once over, um, put him in the car where they had to put in that work. Mm-hmm. And it was laughing at him because Jay Reed couldn't shoot. Right. Which I thought was brilliant. Like yeah. I thought it was a great scene. Right. I mean, hand me the uwap. Yeah, hand, hand me the, the uwap, <laughs> man. Why you, why you ain't give me the uwap? Yeah, I'm tired of the call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's pr- his, because uh, one one quick scene that we didn't, we didn't talk about yet, at the beginning of the film, they show uh, him like, they show him like a uh, current day mm-hmm. talking to like a, a team of new cadets and yeah. team of new officers. Rookie He's the officers. instructor. He's the instructor on how to do, how to complete, how to behave and move as an undercover agent. Yeah. Undercover cop. Yeah. And how the 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 the, the bumps and bruises that you're gonna go through. Those and, were great. Those were that, that was great scenes. Yeah, because the one cop was like, you know, I don't shoot him, and he was like, so now you're not down with us. You're mm-hmm. dead. Boom. Boom. Right. The other cop, you know what I mean? Like you know, shoots him. Now you in way too deep. You ain't never gonna get out. Right. Right. Like you know, you're a murderer. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? And it plays out in that scene that like he was. Bucking like crazy, but you could see he was he was missing. He was missing on purpose. He was delaying. Every the guy was running down the sidewalk. He mm-hmm. kept shooting behind him, yeah, pop, pop, or in front of him, yeah. And then when he got to the alley where he's this open space, he had. He, but he knew I, I probably got fifteen. He knew how many shots he I'm had. Saying, I got sixteen uh, yeah. uh, rounds, uh-huh. and I already, I already let him off already. So when I get when I hop out the car, I'm out of ammo. Hey man, hand me the uwap. Yeah, and and that way I still look like. I I'm, really want to get. I really want to get. Double man. Spin the block, man. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, you can't yeah. shoot, man. I'm gonna disappoint you. I know. Fuck that. I'm gonna go back and do it again. Let's get it. And I think what was great and kind of brilliant about that is not being able to shoot is a is a characteristic. Mm-hmm. It's not a disqualifier, right? So they right. were just like the, the, the boy can't shoot, mm-hmm. but, but he was but, trying. But to. he was trying to. Yeah, he even tried to ask. He asked for the Uzi. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's what and that's what God said. God said, like, you think he was fronting. And both the goons was like, nah, the way, the way he, he was, was, he, he was, was bussing. Yeah, <laughs> he just <laughs> was missing. <laughs> he emptied the whole clip. Yeah, he, he wasn't the take, whole yeah. clip, right? Mm-hmm. He just can't shoot, which 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 was which was cool. Right. And then after that, then it, then God was like, he's going to test him for a third time. Mm-hmm. 
Put them with, the, put them with the young boys. It. Yeah. And let's see, you know, how it works. And then that shit goes south. Because the niggas try to take things into, into their own hands yeah. and rob them. Try to rob them. Dummies. Um, he killed them. But this was shows, this is what, what I really love with, with Jay, uh, Jay Reed. He knew he needed to go make that visit to um, Hill Harper's character. Because he, called, because he calls his handler. And his handler was like, we're pulling you out right now. And he's like, nah, like, you can't pull me out. Yeah. I need to show, like, if I just disappear after these fools tried to rob me, it's going to show weakness. Right. So the fact that he showed up, put the gun in Hill Hall, y'all try to set me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, like, to me, that, that was, that was, because everybody could understand that. He's going to go back and tell a guy, hey, yeah. bro, he came to my crib. He came to my crib. He basically put a gun in my face, bro. Mm-hmm. And he, he think we set him up. So he's, he's, he's basically on the run. He yeah, didn't, he, didn't, he left. He didn't kill two dudes. He don't, he don't, yeah. So, yeah. He ain't fucking with us. He gone. That makes a lot more sense. Him just running and then not just saying nothing. Gotta, you got to communicate. You got to communicate. Yeah. Like, and, so, and so that, to me, that was evidence that showed that, yeah, he does understand the way the streets work mm-hmm. and that they operated, that God needed to know that after this happened, he showed up someplace yeah. angry. Mm-hmm. Um. And that he bounced because he couldn't trust us, right? Mm-hmm. Which is which I think is brilliant. You know right. what I mean? Like he's like he he left not because he's undercover or because he can't take the heat. He left because we did bad business right. with him, mm-hmm. which is perfect for yeah. you know to come back. Mm-hmm. But then it gets us to the woods, which is to me the the, the strangest part of this movie. They, the, the time in between protective case. custody. Yeah, yeah. Go be a college student. Yeah, <laughs> study yeah. study photography. Yeah, like do just dude. just disappear. Yeah, the 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 poorest decision was the the wig that they put on Omar Epps. The 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 the, the baby dread. The baby was, dread. The, the baby, baby the, the yeah. It it just and I understand what they were trying to do because they needed to change his look up completely. So he goes from having a goatee to being clean shaven, mm-hmm. but he looks weird clean shaven. Right. Right? Like, you know, from bald head to look like a Simpson character. Whatever yeah, whatever that mm-hmm. little natural was. <laughs> um, it just it just he looked crazy. He looked he looked like, <laughs> looked like, like the oddest Negro I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Like somebody from like yeah. South Dakota. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like four or five black guys in the whole city. Exactly. Like right. this shit did not look natural. Nah. It didn't look like anything I've ever seen. Right. On any black person, I've never seen that hairstyle on anybody else. Right, um, but that was his look. So I'm surprised he was able to the pull me along. The butt guy, pause. Yeah, the exactly. What in the butt? <laughs> yeah, that guy yeah, had the yeah. same. He had that same look. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, yeah pause. <laughs> he had the little curly afro, <laughs> baby short dreads. Baby situation. short, like not aspiring to be anything else. Like that hairstyle is it right. like in between. Uh-uh, like, nah. It's just like this is you gonna cut it, it back to that same <laughs> cut it back to that same style yeah, if it gets yeah, too long. Me down. <laughs> to the bring big, me back down to, 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 to my, my dreadlock and fro. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so so as crazy as he looked, I was surprised he was able to pull knee along. At first he wasn't. Yeah. He had to use a different angle. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I need a, a model to I'm doing this little photo shoot. I need a model. So yeah. I, you know. Yeah. You don't have to be nude, though. You can have fully clothed. But, mm-hmm. like, at least I want this to be, you know, you're a dancer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Uh, I like it. This, this is what I thought when I, when she showed up naked to the mm-hmm. college um, photography class. Oh, she a freak. Yeah. She a freak. Total. Yeah. Because she was, she ain't a stripper. She's just a, a nude model. Yeah. And... She did her job and left home. Left to go to the next class or go home or whatever. Yeah. Didn't mind. Have you ever met anybody like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like like one of those like uh the, the sexually free? N- yeah. And she is a freak, but she's not trying to smash everybody. She yeah, just, she's not a hoe. Like she's I I, I went to Berkeley. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Berkeley's very This is true. Yeah. So it's a lot of little uh white girls and black girls. But uh, like that. They're just like, hey, free. So uh pull up to the uh I had a, a white girl, matter of fact, I had class with her and we had um I had to get some notes from her. Mm-hmm. I went to her dorm, she pulled up topless. Yeah. She was topless. With no problem. No problem. And wasn't flirting. She was like, hey, how you doing? It's right over there. She was listening to like some mm-hmm. Atlantis Morris set or something like that. Mm-hmm. She was a hippie. Hippie chick. Had like flowers. She had like dreads and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I said, oh, I'll say, oh. Yeah. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just, I, I walk around and do that home. 
I, I put on some bottoms for you, but yeah, um, the pay, the papers are over there. Wasn't even tripping. Yeah, it was me and another guy, me and an Indian guy. We were pulling through a house to get our notes. Those are so special. And I was like, what the hell? Those are so yeah, special. I promise you, this is that cow, bro. This yeah. is in the, uh, uh, what's the bowls? It's a, I think it's a, there's a, uh, all women's dorm called Bowls. Yeah. Or Stern. Nah, I, f- I forget which one. But yeah, people from Cali, y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I, it threw us all. We was like, whoa. Yeah. When you run into those type of like bohemian, mm-hmm. free, sexual, yeah, it it's off. It's like it's it's odd. It's mm-hmm. light, mm-hmm. and it's like that's just okay. fucking cool. Yeah, but I don't think I could stay there for too long. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like you know, like what other kind of different shit is happening? Yeah. Here? Or I, I don't know what her armpits look like. She might have did this. Yeah. That half row. But you know what I'm saying? But you know, like like those are the ones that are, that'll are, that'll be willing to do some shit you never oh, yeah. heard of. And yeah. they'll be like, yeah, like it'll be spiritual for them, uh-huh. right? <laughs> <laughs> riveting, <laughs> riveting. Yeah. Right? But that's who she was. Yeah, she was. That's 100 mm-hmm. percent who she was. Yeah. She was a, a a dancer, but not a stripper. Mm-hmm. She was she was a nude. She was sexually free, mm-hmm. and she said it, but not with disrespect. But when he when he walked her down mm-hmm. after the class, how you doing? I just want to um, talk to you. She said, like, "You know what? Uh, I don't date my I don't date guys in my new class. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm I'm not here for that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying respectfully. Yeah, because she's like she's sexual and she's open, but like you said, she's not a hoe. Right, she is. She's not, she's right. Not a so flip. you can't just just because I, just because I you get nude naked. in for the photography class don't mean I'm even trying yeah. to let you smash. Even exactly. Even when he pulled up, she did. She wasn't doing it for attention. She right. did, she did it for the art. Mm-hmm. He pulled up. He's he's fixing the light on her so her face can have yeah. some more glow on it. And she he's taking his time and she's like she's posing and she's like hey. So can you hurry up? I have to pee. Right. You know what I'm saying like yeah. this is a job not, to her. This is not sexual at all. Right. Mm-hmm. This is and so, but through that they have. I think like a very interesting relationship that that feels authentic. Like mm-hmm. sometimes it feels forced, and it might just be because Omar and Nia are such good actors, yeah. right? Because this movie doesn't force Nia to do too much, mm-hmm. and Omar's already doing a lot as Jay Reed. Yeah, so we need to see this side of him mm-hmm. to to see the contrast, right? And I think he does a good job. I think he does a good job, like. Interacting with her. Right. I think he does a great job of explaining. I wish more movies did this to explain why he's in too deep. Right. Yeah. When he talked about like how he grew up. Mm-hmm. And that was dope. How, that was that was that one fantastic. scene explained why are you going so hard with the undercover shit. It bro? makes the it makes the movie make sense. It make it makes him make sense. Every everything works because of that one scene mm-hmm. where he explained how he accidentally memorize the names all the names on that on that wall on that wall and that how and how he said that like he wanted to make a difference right makes sense mm-hmm. and like like now his character his motivation his reason for getting back in the game mm-hmm. um all of it makes sense which it's is equivalent cool. to on the rooftop of in, in New Jack City, where Wesley well, Snaps was talking about how he killed that yes. uh, he killed his mom. His mom was a school. Scotty's mom was a school teacher, mm-hmm. and he was killed. And she was killed by a street thug. Yep. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So that that turned me. I, I want to make sure that this I clean the streets up, and we don't have these type of kids on the streets anymore. So mm-hmm. let me do my part. Yep, yeah. makes sense. Dope. Um, and I like how Stanley Tucci's character, who's always there, to remind I think us as the audience that the stakes are high. Mm-hmm. And he's the only one that notices that that has that that and is an obje- it is objective about it. Mm-hmm. Jay Reed always wants to go back in yeah. to get it done. The other kind of like powers that be, but he's the only one that's like, I don't think you're ready to go back. Yeah, and he's looking out for his well, looking out for his well. He's not trying to crack the case. Only mm-hmm. he's not. If I, I want to crack the case, I'm but gonna, not at the expense of this not, kid. Yeah, because he's. I can tell he's changing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can tell right out right off the bat that the game and the and the proximity to the streets was was changing this kid. Right. And he was like, I just don't want him to be. I don't want to lose him. Yeah. But there was like, he's getting in close. Yeah. He's the closest that we we've ever had a, a officer mm-hmm. in when when it comes to yeah. God and his crew. Yeah. He got a. And he was slowly but surely. He was hanging out with uh, Hill Harper's character, mm-hmm. and uh, 
He was even even um, God's best friend um, liked him. Yeah, his homeboy. Everybody was cool with him because like, because he was with the business. Yeah, like I mean, Jay Reed. That's like he was so believable, and he had that like you know like certain real ones. There was a quietness about him. Yes, like he like he, stoic. He was stoic. He he was never really bombastic. He wasn't doing never too animated. Much. He never did too never much. doing too overcompensating. Much. Just chill. Yeah, he he until he flashed. When right? dude, when, when when we base character, yeah, when we base, <laughs> was trying to insinuate that he was a cop. Yeah, and I, and at that point, the aggression, you know, which. Was a sign because he was being he was being aggressive in front of and to God, to yeah. a certain extent. He was almost cussing God out, almost cussing God out to the fact that God had to. Hey, bro, watch your motherfucking mouth, yeah. man! Don't don't talk. Don't be raising your voice to me in my own office. So, for for those that haven't seen the movie, in too deep, go watch it. The one of the girls that he had met when he was hanging out with the Spanish with the with the, the Spanish chicks. <laughs> Um, inexplicably to uh, Ohio Police Department made her way to Cincinnati or whatever or Cleveland or wherever right. they are and runs in and sees him in a club and goes who's that guy who's that the guy yeah. yeah and so and they call him out and I feel like this is another nitpick but I feel like God come on now. as as tight as his org is supposed to be would not just Pass that yeah, by. Yeah, you know what? Don't worry about it. You mean don't worry about it, man? You fucking up my money with you? No, yeah. he's not, man. Come take a walk with me. Let me show you something. Didn't that seem a little like, yeah, like that was for that him was to, brushed over for him to go to three different levels of auditioning? Yeah, a test to see if you're worthy of being a part of the crew, and mm-hmm. you pass the test. Now we're questioning you, your authenticity, or we're questioning you at, might be law enforcement, right? And I don't believe my homeboy, who I've been knowing for years. I don't believe. Him. The chick that he's been dealing with, and she said she's seen them before. Mm-hmm. All those things are too close for yeah. comfort. Yeah, and and despite, but I feel like it was a, was a good, you know, defense by Jay Reed. Like, bros don't hearsay is never acceptable. Yeah, they'll kill you for less. Bring her down. Yeah, bring her down. I want to hear her say it. Yeah, I want to hear. Go get her. Mm-hmm. And I want and I want to I want to hear her. Didn't that make sense? Like something God might do. Mm-hmm. God might need to He's see thorough. from the girl, right? And be able to look and be like, she's fucking telling the truth. Yeah, right. Like you know, or or be able to compare. But it just was was. I think that I think there's probably some more scenes that were cut out that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. And he was like, okay, this is all, this is what we got left. Let's just do this. Yeah, because I mean, he I mean, he gave the boy, he gave the boy, in the beginning of the movie, worse treatment. For even less of an accusation, right? right? Like homie that was in the bed with his girl, mm-hmm. and you know, and apparently, like he all he had done is just talk to the police, right? And he said they came down here, kind of talking, but I didn't say nothing, mm-hmm. you know, da 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 da. But cut his tongue out just just for just for being for having a conversation with the police, right? Because right? I believe homie, I believe homie didn't say anything, yeah, right. Um, but cut his tongue out. So there is a little bit of inconsistency right. in with what, like, they're saying you're a police officer. Like, right. that's enough to. That's a that's a huge allegation. <laughs> that's a big enough one. Enough for you for you to end up in the trash can. Let me go find out exactly what's going on. Yeah. So they so they gloss over that, but then we kind of find out in the very next scene that like God has no loyalty. Nah. That shit was well. Funny. He has no loyalty, or he don't. No one's exempt because it, you you know mm-hmm. his best friend was trying to get at his girl now. But and so what is what his boy said was all I said is that she looked beautiful. That's what he said when he was so. I was, so so am I am I being naive that that's all that, only yes because unless you missed it, go mm-hmm. back and watch the film where uh, Jay Reed. And they all meet at the uh, at the Thanksgiving joint, mm-hmm. and he meets the homies for the first time. Yeah, he pulls up with a uh, Hill Harper, and he meets God mm-hmm. um, for the second time. And then you notice he tries to shake God's hand. Mm-hmm. And God hits him with this, right? Okay, cool. I noticed that too. Mm-hmm. And so he he changed him from this to, mm-hmm. and then he he met the homeboy, 
And then the well, the girlfriend, the baby mama came over. You know what I'm saying? And as he's saying what's up, the home with the best friend, mm-hmm. you see him do this. Ah. Uh, That's very subtle. I saw it though. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and to me, that was oh hey, that yep. was foreshadowing. Yep. And this dude okay. was dumb enough to, to actually try, to try to flirt with God's the boss's girl. Yeah. And yeah. I that's disloyal. So I don't think that uh yeah, you try to you try to talk to my baby moms, bro. And you don't want to trigger nobody that's sadistic. Come on, man. He low key psychopathic. He's he's a God is a narcissist psychopath. Yeah. I love his character because he was charming. Yes. He was charming and, and, and sinister at the same time. At different points. Yes. Like at times he's like, hey, what's up? Oh, oh, come on. It's okay, boo boo. Hey, it's, 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 it's okay, boo boo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, such and such. Like, you're right. I mean, when we talked about LL, when we were back on the bracket show. Yeah. I, now, was, I was definitely going to bring it up. Yeah. And I know you're going to bring this up. And, and I need to watch like maybe four episodes of NCIS before I can come all the way around. Mm-hmm. I need more body of work. But God, LL does a lot in this movie. Yeah, it does. Right? Like, mm-hmm. like I kept wanting to say, I kept wanting to use your, your argument, your argument against yeah. Cube mm-hmm. against you here in terms of LL and being like, he's just acting like LL. Right. But he's not. Right. Like, you know, he may be acting mm-hmm. like a New Yorker, which is what he's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. But Jersey, like, yep. but he does, he does a lot mm-hmm. of stuff. Like you a cop, Jay? A lot of stuff. Jeremy, mm-hmm. you a cop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what'd you think? And you know, you don't mind to that, man. Mm-hmm. You a cop? Yeah. And then in the other scene, he's like, hey, what's going on, man? Mm-hmm. He's just he's just the life of the party. Yeah. yeah. Or just up upbeat. I took care of that for you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, the, done. Eliminated. Yeah. The guys that did that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, like really, yeah. really good stuff. Even the stuff that he that he does with um baby girl who got turned out. Like, uh yeah, you talking about with um Anjane. Uh, uh Denise. Denise. Like the two interactions Man. that we see them have are two totally different guys. The first one is like, you know, we just set you up, you know, da 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 da. Okay. He's caring. Yeah. He's warm. You know, yeah. it's just like, okay. And then when he pulls up on her, you know, and the, and the boy. Put the, yeah, yeah. 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 You want to smoke the glass stick, right? Mm-hmm. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. What you think, Jay? What you think, huh? Man, look that bitch. She all she dying slowly anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> which is a which is which is the cold hearted killer way. Like I'm such a killer. This is a waste of our time. Yes, to kill this smoker, bro, bro. Yes, I mean, it's niggas outside, man. It's raining. Right, there's people watching, bro. She ain't worth it, my nigga. But I think she it was, dying slow anyways. I think it was a little stuff like that that like endeared Jay Reed to God. Mm-hmm. Right, because yeah. Jerry hops out the car with the with the quickness. The and handles work with them, like handles work with mm-hmm. them. No questions asked. Yeah. No, what are we yeah. doing? Yeah. No, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, just boom. He even asked him. He said, "What you think, Jerry?" He respected him. Mm-hmm. That's what he wanted. Yep. So, at the expense of getting in too deep, he was doing his job very well. Yes, he was succeeding, right. but he was losing the personal battle. But then what this movie doesn't show us is what exactly was J. Reed doing for God? Like, we never see J. Reed get a package that, that you know, we never see him buy He's off of God. He's almost like a muscle. He's just like, muscle. Yeah. Right? Like, 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 they bring him on. And you don't trust muscle that much. And you... He, God never found out what he was doing in Akron. Let me see your business. Let yes. me go to you. Let me see what you where you came from. Right. Like, like... Like, originally they set it up like Jay Reed is supposed to buy from God mm-hmm. and take the package back to Akron and make money. Right. The first time that's supposed to happen, he gets almost jacked and has to murder the same folks. Right? right. Comes back into the fold, and we're no longer talking about doing business anymore. Right. Right? It's just now you just around me. Mm-hmm. You and then he's like, uh, what he did say after they beat up on Denise and her mm-hmm. dude, um, uh, which is crazy how she just got strung out on dope, yeah, at, um, at the end or towards the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, then they they in the park chilling, yeah, talking like one day, man, me and me and you gonna take over the whole city. Mm-hmm. What ha- what happened to uh Hill Harper's character? Yeah, hey, yeah, and the other homie, uh, and, and Shaheen, and Weebay. <laughs> uh, Weebay. Right. What happened to these dudes? Right. How did he jump? Mm-hmm. How did he? Uh, I'm assuming they was busting their gun for him too. Yeah. But how did he just jump the the line? And we we did not 
<laughs> Wee Bay. He's always gonna be Wee Bay. Yeah, yeah, for Whatever sure. movie he's in. Uh-huh. But uh but like Wee Bay didn't seem like he was not a good soldier or not a smart soldier. Nor yeah. did he seem like a punk. It's a only reason why he seemed like a punk is mm-hmm. when he like, he got socked from not holding the bag. Yeah, yeah. I said, hold the bat. I said, whoa. okay. And so that showed you that showed you that a uh, guy treated his homies like, like like punks. But it's weird he never treated Jay Reed like that. Be- well, so what's interesting? That's very that's very good. Well, point. He almost shot. Well, here's the thing. I'm sorry. Real quick. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Man, he was like, man, hold the bag, my nigga. Yeah. Hold the bag. And he was yeah. like, I got you. I got you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Hold the bag, bro. Yeah. Second time, bro. If you don't hold the bag, man, I'm gonna break your jaw. Mm-hmm. And then he still couldn't hold the bag, and he socked him. Yeah, and that was it. So that, that that let us know that he is a goon. He's one of his henchmen, but he is a dude. But, he, but he's weak. he's a slap around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying he's, he's a weenie he's bag. You know what I'm saying. And then immediately Jay Reed and 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 God is is he's is, supposed to be doing this. Yeah, yeah go, 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 God go. is putting putting that work on, Man. on the mitts. He, he right? breaks right. off he's, the mitts, and and he's Jay Reed is just, holding it well. He, yeah, you know he's supposed to be like giving in. Yeah, like no, even so that that people around him are, are noticing. And then God says, "We you knew a little bit more about boxing than yeah. what we thought, huh? You know what right. I mean? Like, yeah, so I mean, I'm talking mean hooks, uppercuts, yeah. straight rights. What are you doing? So he was just he was the 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 best of God's options. Yeah, right. His his you know quote unquote number one. He had to 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 pretzel up because yeah. he hollered at his baby mama. So he needs a right hand man. Mm-hmm. There's nobody in his crew that's really good enough. Right. And Jay Reed has." Been everything as advertised, mm-hmm. which maybe is like while I ignore it, maybe some obvious signs. That, right, <laughs> that that I just want. So I just want a guy to be tough yeah. and ready to, to shoot niggas. And he already and he took care. He already shot those dudes that tried to jack him. Yes, he killed one, and one dude got shot in the balls. Mm-hmm. Right, which lets you know um, that he's a, that he's a killer. Yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah. know, and that he and that he's there about that business. So mm-hmm. you know, to that point, but he I proved himself. He proved a, himself. A legit proved yeah. It. But I think this movie shows that, like, the more time he spends with God and in God's ecosystem, you know, the guy starts to worry about him. Like, you know, like I don't know if we're going to be able to Bring get him back. back. Well, you because even when the when the uh, Tucci, the, the 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 detective, the head detective, tells him, "Hey, man, you got to build a persona mm-hmm. to make you care less." Yes, that's yes. what he did be- because he was caring about the sister. And, yeah. and, and the, you know, was like, hey, bro, who gives a fuck about her? Hey, man, I'm not yeah. playing around, bro. The, the guys, I understand they got to go down. They, yeah. They're drug dealers and the yeah. mom. But the sister, she's getting her her, her college paid for, bro. She's like, drug money. Yeah, but you're like, what's going to happen to her? Hey, yeah. man, that's not your business. That's not your business. Do the job. Do the job. As a matter of fact, you need to, you need to create an alter ego mm-hmm. to make you give less fucks about yeah. her and, and that's other exa- people. That's exactly what he did. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what he did. Um, and so. So then it kind of gets to the point where now Jay Reed is God's right hand man, and they're going to do the buy. And this is the this is the the buy that the police have been, you know, the big sting operation. This has been this is the one that they want. This yeah. is the one that we got. We got they God need. and the connect in the same building with drugs mm-hmm. and cocaine. Yeah, I mean, with, with money and cocaine. This is also where the movie kind of falls apart for me a little bit mm. because it well not falls apart for me, but. It, there's these little nitpicks. Okay, they do so much good work that when they don't do good work, the ending is kind of yeah. Like, like it doesn't make sense that God would roll either solo or with one to buy that dope, and it wasn't a lot of dope that they was buying. It was right? like a, <laughs> right, like it wasn't like it wasn't even keys. Yeah, it was like. A, like like sandwich bags worth of shit. Yeah, it, it looked like a very small amount. But that bag of money was heavy. Yeah, so so it's just like how much like how much are we buying? It's only them two that are that are there. You would think it'd be more muscle there, right? You know, so so like I understand that like that I understand why God and Jay Reed needed to be there, right? But it seemed really kind of like low key to be the big bust, the the big bust, and there's only four people there. Yeah, that you know I, maybe I don't know. This, Crime, maybe, maybe the guy. I'm that, expecting to that, be like New Jack City, with just like yeah. the guys up in the yeah. towers, <laughs> gunmen, yeah, gunmen yeah. everywhere. That's usually how yeah. some Russians, some yeah. Israelis, right? Like, a you know. truck full of people. Yeah. Open the dr- yeah, yeah. So, so maybe it is, maybe it is low key like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it also would seem like somebody like God would never touch the product. This is because because yeah. I start because I start to think about I start to think about God. 
And I start to think about all the other kind of villainous masterminds that we've seen. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like, man, this feels like like really uh, blue collar for a drug lord. For someone that's worth $11 million. To, to To drive the car. And then at the to end. To wait. You know what I mean? To right. handle the transaction himself. That's the kind with of thing, the newest guy in his crew. With the newest guy in his the crew. The newest guy in his crew. Yeah. That's you send Weebay on that job. Right. You seen you send Weebay and you know, but 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 nitpicking. Especially the guy, you take the guy that told you, hey man, this guy's a cop. Yeah. You take him with this you. This is the guy that you bring to meet the connect. And I think And then Go ahead, go ahead. If I you know, if memory serves me correctly. I think Jay Reed was there to meet the connect as well to run his own operation. Did they say that? Am I imagining that? Like, because did 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 God say something about like you know meet these guys or something? something you never meet them again or something like that. Uh, Am I imagining that? Does that seem familiar? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I remember the conversation was you gonna either you gonna work with me. And we're gonna take over the city because you work by yourself. I know you're capable, but I'm I might have to murder you. you. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it was just like, you're my guy. I'm putting you on. You know, mm-hmm. this is your official number two. Right. Okay. Right. right. Makes sense. Um, but the jig is up. So, so. And so, <laughs> so let's talk about where he, he took that three to four month hiatus after he shot the dudes and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the police took him out off the, off the case and he went to the woods and lived in like the woods yeah and then went to the school in the city somewhere. It's very beatnik. Like, like, right. Yeah. And so met this girl. She said she played hard to get, but she eventually gave in, gave mm-hmm. him the buns. Mm-hmm. And then he would take her to the barn, to this this farm that he lived in. He yeah. Didn't, he, didn't, well, he didn't have to explain because he told her, I'm a cop. I'm a cop. He explained. That's dope. He kept it 100 with her. Yeah. yeah. And she fell in love with him. That was, that's that's cool. But then she tells, then he tells her, I got to go back undercover. Mm-hmm. And then she can't handle it. So she's like, man, I'm out, I don't dig this. You're gone. You changed. And, and I don't want to. I don't want to get a, a phone call saying that you got killed. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't want to be with you anymore. Yeah. So she kind of dumps him. <laughs> All right. But so now he has the situation and then he goes back t- to her and tries to kiss her in the car. He shows up as Jay Reed. Yeah. Honk, honk the car at her. She yeah, comes honk. Like, <laughs> get in the car, it. bitch. <laughs> yeah. Give me a kiss. I, I don't want yeah. a kiss. Come on, give me a kiss. Yeah. Is that your new boyfriend? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like, you know. He's got all that. He's got all that aggression. It's, it, it is literally Jay Reed in a car, and not Detective Jeffrey Cole. <laughs> Jeffrey Cole. Yeah, and then gets sweated by the police. Yeah, who, they was right. Like you know, he was he he pulled he pulled the, the gun out on. Hey, him. don't be stupid. Yeah, <laughs> you don't be, no, you don't be you stupid. You don't be stupid. He's like, I'm working, having a little problem with my girl. Da 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 da. You know, give me your name, buddy. You know, you bad. You don't need that. Da 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 da. Uh, in real life, he would have been blasted on. They wouldn't have pulled out. They wouldn't have pulled stupid. out the mace when he got distracted. They would have put one in his chest. Yeah, oh my god! It, on yeah. the news. Um, but yeah, but like so. So and that uh, is another part of the unravel. Mm-hmm. Um, but then like the powers that be, because like he, like the reason why he gets sent back down anyways, because he meets the guy on the boat, right? Like you right. know, like the attorney general or the the hey, ran to him. Yeah, you know, and made a play and. Put me back in, and then there's the other guy. I forget who the other white guy was, but like yeah, he was like a the, the short a DA. squirrely DA, yeah, or maybe the DA, the one that could give a fuck about him. He was like, it's about the case, yeah, it's about the case. And uh, the detective was like, nah, it's about him too. Like, mm-hmm. we got to make sure we keep him safe. Yeah, and then um, and then we have like that final scene, and it, the shit, the the police kind of storm in. God, J. Reed, the the two white uh, drug dealers mm-hmm. all get to sprinting, and and God saves J. Reed's life. Damn, like yeah, literally saves before his he life. finds out he's been set up. Before he finds yeah. out he's been set up, See. which God never saw it coming. He didn't. He never saw it coming. But even though he, sh- he it's crazy because the old boy had questions. Like, he mm-hmm. had questions and doubts about him yeah. being a cop. Yeah, but never saw it coming. Um, but then again, at the same time, like after God is almost on his way out, Pam Greer shows up, you know, puts, you know, and, and drop it, drop it. And God drops it or whatever. And Jay Reed shows up and, and puts the heat on Pam Greer. And she was like, what are you doing? 
Well, well, yeah. What is this? He was, he was Detective Coles. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Call he, me, call me, a, call yeah. me Jay Green. He was, he was, he was, he was something else right mm-hmm. there. Before, shit, it was fucking God that that talked Jay Reed into putting the gun down. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't even, it wasn't even the uh, was Pam like, Greer's detective, uh, right? Uh, the, character, the, yeah. It was it was God that talked him into putting. He's like, be smart, bro. Mm-hmm. He said, "I got six hundred. I got a six hundred dollar a day, mm-hmm. an hour a lawyer. Mm-hmm. We'll be out by tomorrow morning. Yeah, just chill, man. Yeah, you know, just chill. So he puts the gun down, and even though God is a is a kind of like a, is a piece of shit, mm-hmm. it still was sad to to watch <laughs> to watch when him he get, walked out to watch there, him un- get betrayed. <laughs> he was like, Detective Coles, would you like to read?" Uh, yeah. Um, Mr. Mr. Uh, Giddens, his his rights. Yeah. He looked up. He says, <laughs> "You a cop? Nigga? You a cop? You ain't no cop. You ain't no cop, Jay Reed. You ain't no cop, Jay Reed. Damn. Yeah. Like he was heartbroken. That betrayal. It was he like was, oh, he was heartbroken. The homie Weebay was right. Yeah. He the homie Weebay was right. And then and then God was like, I'm just trying to be there for you, dog. Yeah." I, I, all I ever tried to do was was have your back. Like it's just like I was like, oh, oh man, man. Like, this this is a thug, this is a thug cry, <laughs> a, a thug cry, <laughs> man. A thug, thug was transparency, it money. Was, it was thug transparency. <laughs> damn, damn. Did you feel bad for God when he found out that Jay Reed betrayed him and was an undercover cop? Yeah. Let, let me know what y'all think, man. Was Jay Reed trash? The trash homie, or, or, or was he just doing the job that good? Jay Reed did his job. J. Reed did his job. We for be, because of that scene earlier where we learn why he is even a cop to begin with. Mm-hmm. We understand that his objective, even though it might have got cloudy, right, was always to kind of like the get here, right, right. Like he needed to get here. That's why they needed to decompress and reprogram afterwards, right. That's why he was able to teach, which yeah. is when we see him teaching. Is this is after all of this, right? Right, where he grew his he grew his bullshit back. Grew, grew his uh. He put the he put the uh, his picking any back in. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, but yeah, but but I've I've those movies are always like Donnie Brasco mm-hmm. and like this, like whenever the 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 thug gets betrayed, like you always you feel, feel some like, kind of oh, way, no. like like damn, like even like in Donnie Brasco where. You know where where they present him with the with the photo of Johnny Depp, mm-hmm. and they be like, Man, you know, they almost got us. You know what I mean? Like you'd believe if it was true if you didn't know Donnie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's so right. that's what God is saying. God is like, damn, nah, Jay Reed, nah, man, nah. I vouch, I believed in you, bro. I had your back. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I saved your life. I just tried five to be minutes for you, ago. Dog. Yeah, and that was it. That's crazy. And then and then you know we we you know get to court. Um, Hill Harper snitches. So you, that's <laughs> wild to me, bro. That's crazy. When I saw him at the end of the movie, yeah. when he walked up to him, they shook hands. Yeah. I was like, bro, if I'm, if I'm Hill Harper, I'm like, nigga, you a cop. You, nigga, you Not only did you discredit my word now yeah. in the hood, I'm yeah. the one that brought you to the crew. Now we got the, our top dog knocked down. Uh-huh. He snitched. And seemed happy to do it. <laughs> it's, it thanked him. Off that one scene in thanked the diner, yeah. he was like, hey, man, how, hey, how, how God paying you? Y'all cool? Yeah. I mean, we will be looking for a raise, but we ain't got yeah. it in two years. We should talk about that briefly. How, like, Hill Harper, his character, Breezy T, was low-key trash. Like, off of $200 that 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 Jay Reed gave him at the diner, Hill Harper was, uh, uh, Breezy T was like, shit, you could be the kingpin. Right, like you could the, be, we could be running all this. You could be running off of all of this. All, that's how that's how flimsy, that's right. how flimsy his loyalty was. To to God that all it took was two hundred dollars at a, at a lunch for him to be like, hey, we'll take down the king. That's the same amount of money Marlo gave the little boys in the wire. <laughs> These niggas are twelve, right? <laughs> said, right. Damn, nigga. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's school true. clothes money, That's nigga. True. Gave them nigga. Gave J. Reed <laughs> gave Breezy T school clothes money, and he was ready to help uh, them up on up the organization. Yeah, which goes back to this last little theory was how tight was God's organization really? It it would have been a lot tighter, but he he pushed everybody away. He socking niggas in their face. Mm-hmm. He putting pool sticks up niggas and shit like that. But yeah. but that was, that was the only one that was deserved. Yeah, like, but like but that's supposed to be his top dog, and 
Everybody in his organization is kind of maybe that's maybe that's why he needed Jay Reed. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's maybe that's why Jay Reed was so important to him because Jay Reed was the only one around him that was solid. Right, right, right. And man. maybe that's why. Okay, now that now it makes sense why he would be look, willing to look past the suspicion. Because like I can't have he's this so, guy be because I need this guy. And he's so and, and he's been the what I've seen, he busting his gun. He yeah. beating he, yeah. he's legit, you know what I mean? Like the need for this guy to be a strong he number two. He he bluffed. Hey man, bring it bring it downstairs, man. Bring it over here, yeah, man. Bring it over here. So I gotta ask him some questions. Yeah. He was he's bluffing the whole time. That's a good bluff. <laughs> Pass me the Ubop. Yeah. <laughs> he's bluffing. Good aggression. Uh-huh. Uh okay. Wanna get into some awards? Yes. Anything else we need to cover on the field? Um uh, the part where Nia Long wanted to break up with him because she was afraid of him being the cop. I get yeah, that. She yeah. like, man, I don't want to. I don't want to see on the news that you mm-hmm. that you get murdered somewhere on undercover. Yeah. Um. So this ain't gonna work for me. I love you, but I can't love you like this because mm-hmm. what you do for a living is not what I'm okay with. Yeah. That made, it made sense to me. Mm-hmm. As bohemian as she was, right? Like their life is too organic mm-hmm. for. For that shit, right? right. He lives a double life. Yeah, yeah. So I met Jeff. You, you, you Jay. This dude, this Jay Reed nigga. This nigga's crazy. Does he ever go back to police work after this? Uh, well, I mean, what what happens to a cop like that? Right, like you know, after he goes deep on the cover for he's that a detective. long. Yeah, I think he's because he's a he's a good detective. He's a good detective. Mm-hmm. He just is a is. He can't. He got to move to Phoenix. He just, he just becomes an instructor. Yeah, like at that point, like you know. You teach. You're done. He took down. You're done ever yeah. going undercover again. Mm-hmm. Your job is to now teach this next generation of cadets how to do it. Right. Boom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who's the I MVP? MVP. MVP is uh, Jay Reed. Easily. Yeah. yeah. Like, like he makes it move. He makes this. Mo- this initiative. movie does not work if. Jay Reed and Omar do not play this character right. as well as as well as they do. I agree. He's completely believable, aside yeah. from the bad haircut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how he looks off man. duty. You know, you gotta work on that. The hairdo is a bad acting. Yeah. It's the, bad acting. It's a bad shave, bad skin. Um, but he but he's really the MVP mm-hmm. of, of Interview. I agree. Um, who's the LVP? Uh Shaheen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had to be there. Yeah. He added an extra body though, but like, but we didn't like we didn't need him. No, we like, and they gave a lot of time to him devouring them French fries. Yeah, you know? <laughs> they gave they gave a ton of screen time no. to him devouring French yeah. fries. Yeah, yeah, but like other than that, like you know, we don't see him bust his gun. He don't get nah. killed. You know what I mean? It, He's downstairs just watching a naked body. Yeah, like <laughs> like hey, like, yeah, man, what are you doing out here by yourself? Again, this runt. Is not supposed to have that kind of access, right? To to oh, to that, shit. right? Okay. Like he ain't supposed to have that kind of access to what God does at that level, right? And he does, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, and he's like he's the kind of guy that that you like we've seen in the wire. Like let him take the fall, right? He's like he's the fall guy. He's uh, yeah, like Bodie, like Bodie, like Bo- yeah. never had access to to Avon like that, right? He's a corner boy still. He's a corner boy. Never worked his way up yet, right? Like and that's what what he what he was, but they gave him a lot of like little screen time. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Um, that's good. They, they was pushing. He was trying. He was a rapper. He was. They was pushing him. His, yeah. his music. And he and he and he did like he did that. He did Finding Forrester. Mm-hmm. He had a couple little little. He, couple, he, was, little bad. Bit, he, was, he was on his way. Mm-hmm. He had an interesting look. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like like a look that reflected the little, times. A little, little hood, Doug Funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's very funny. Um, overacting award, overacting the world, world. Uh, Hill Harper. Yeah, he always kind of mm-hmm. because because I, I think he's naturally not the hood dude. Yeah, but he 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 can play street guy. He can play guy from the neighborhood. But he like, he played booger. He yeah. played like he played. Yeah, he could do that. But him playing the hardcore street dude. He did a good job, but I, I felt like he was over the top because he's not used to that. It's the first time I ever seen him play mm-hmm. a street dude. Here, here, the problem, and I agree, the problem with Hill Harper is that he's too handsome, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I get why he's why he's cast, but these are roles that 
he's too handsome to play. He has he should have been God's little brother. Like he's he has to game bang. He has to do street shit. Yeah. Because he's raised into that. Right. Not like I had such a hard life that I have to go do this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I got recruited out of the mud to yeah. come be this goonie. Yeah. Nah, this is God's little brother. Uh, you know what he, I'm saying? He's Samson. the only guy in the crew that looks out of place. Mm-hmm. Out of everybody that we see on the on the thug side of the movie, right? Like mm-hmm. like God's right hand. I forget his name, but the but the guy that that got paused. You know what I mean? Downstairs right. looks like a thug. We yeah, made, looks like yeah. a thug. Mm-hmm. Shaheem looks like a yeah. thug. Even like sticky fingers and homie that um yeah they look like mm-hmm. but then here comes like handsome square jawed Hill Harper Hill Harper right like so <laughs> it's like like, like <laughs> it's like Marcus Houston playing that character that's what I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah. it's just not, not the same actor yeah but like this this Hill the Harper can act but but he's not oh yeah he's yeah. not that and he didn't I I didn't I did not believe him I thought he was overacting when he they were beating up Jermaine Dupri yeah but I still believed him yeah. Fighting, motherfucker. You mm-hmm. have a fucking family, motherfucker. Right, I, I right. get that. I think like you could tell, you could tell by, by the way an act when an actor is playing a thug, you could tell by the way they laugh, if it's legit. Is that right? Here's been my experiences. Characters that are playing like true thugs don't be that animated with their laughter, right? <laughs> But like Hill Harper is always like, <laughs> like it's, it's always like, unless his character was like, it's my little brother, man, I love him, man. Yeah, he's a fucking knucklehead. But that's but that's how Hill Harper chooses to play the character. That's like he doesn't know that like people generally aren't that animated, right? Like that, like we like we're not that animated. But he's animated. He's over the top. He's smiling. He's happy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, these are all things that like only somebody that doesn't come from that that culture, decisions that they would make. It's not that he just he's too handsome. It's that he's too handsome and he's too clean cut. He's too clean because, cut. Because because yes. uh because um you know Brown is at his but G Money is handsome dude. Yes. But he he wasn't over the top. He was G Money like, was not over the top. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. of course, Wesley, Wesley Snipes not a pretty boy, mm-hmm. but that time Wesley Snipes was a heartthrob. Right, but he was the dark, mm-hmm. um, sinister, tall, dark, and handsome guy. Mm-hmm. So it works for him. Hill Harper's character was too clean cut in the face. Yeah, he had no facial hair, and mm-hmm. and now here's the thing: if he played the the um the suit and tie, I'm um, the slick game banger, yeah. the slick drug dealer in he the club, do that. ladies. He could do that. You know what I'm saying he's, he's he's quiet, he's smooth. That's that's different, but he was mm-hmm. a street dude. He was supposed to be a street yeah. dude connected to God, like like the way Cameron plays his character and, and paid in full, right? He's, he's a, supposed to be a reek. Yeah. He, yeah, he's a light. He's a light character. He's not. He's not super thuggish, mm-hmm. but he's not cartoonish, right? The way Hill Harper what is. Up, baby? He hey, gets, hey, hey, watch my shit, buddy. Yeah, right. I said, yeah, he was flashy, mm-hmm. but he was still. He was when it got time for him to be serious. Yeah, I believed him. I tell you, the the, the actor that's able to. <clears throat> play that cartoonish light kind of laughing thug and does it just well enough without crossing the line even though he approaches it is Method Man right mm. like Method Man in Belly and Method yeah. Man in The Wire like mm. jeez <laughs> yeah is that that nigga is that the illest nigga in Nebraska yeah. right like <laughs> is that you you bought it bought it right yeah he goes right to the line of being like who this, he's, this motherfucker's clowning he's a clown yeah but but he keeps it right there right Hill Harper just kind of comes across the law we, we, we shitting on him we love Hill Harper oh we do but it's just he's a little fish out of water mm. yeah and I'm not I, I'm 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 I don't think he did he did a good job yeah it's just like okay we could have had you could have had a different. Uh, Sticky Fingers should have played that character. Yeah, yo, my yeah. nigga, yo, my nigga, God's my big homie, man. It's my partner, man. We go way back. That makes hey, a lot yeah, of I sense. I vouch for you, my nigga. Don't make me look stupid, my nigga. That Let's go over here. Makes but, a but lot. But here was more like, what's sense. up, man? Hey, hey, real quick, yo, mm-hmm. God, this is my partner. It's just yeah. a little too soft. Yeah, you know what I'm that makes sense. Um, okay, so we did MVP, we did LVP, we did overacting. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the fist. Let's get to How the many fists do you give into deep? Into deep gets three point five. Three point five. Are we? Do we give points? We can give points. Yeah, we can do point five. Yeah. It's uh, it's not uh, yeah. I like the I like the film, mm-hmm. but it's not a classic. 
Yeah. It's not a classic. Um, it's not like a deep cover. Okay. We're going to do deep cover one day yeah. soon. Yeah. And uh, and I'm going to have to watch it again to, to, to see if that's a five. But mm-hmm. I'm saying... I, I, I all for memory. I I believe Deep Cover was a better film. Yeah, and it's not that Into Deep was a good film too. I followed it. It was it was, but we we threw we 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 recognized too many chinks in the armor. And yeah, in so fact, the it, overall it, story. It, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's a good movie. Mm-hmm. It's a solid movie. There's a few microwave um, elements of the story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. How did how did uh, uh Hill Harper and and um Jay Green meet? Yeah. Um, why did why put the fact that they questioned him they questioned Jay Reed being the cop go kind of like swept into the rug yeah. so easily by God if God is supposed to have a 16 what did he say how much 16 member team Bill, million six, billion how much oh how it was much 11 million? million but I think he said in, in, at the courtroom they said that he had like a 27 yeah. man operation I didn't see that <laughs> I like, <"Where> <laughs> right I didn't I didn't it felt I felt very ragtag mm-hmm. um for me, I really like this movie because I really think that Omar is awesome in it. And LL is awesome in it. Right. Um, but it's a three. It's a high three. Yeah. Like it's it mm-hmm. like I I like this movie a lot. It's above average. Like like it's really good. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. Every time I come back into this world, mm-hmm. like I'm happy that I'm there. Um uh, LL is great. Mm-hmm. But it's not a four. Right. Not a four. You know, not a we four. gave dead presidents either a four or a five. That. Yeah, something like that. And let's just say I'll go back and look at memory, but let's say I just let's say I gave dead presidents a four, then into deep is definitely a three. Yeah, because dead presidents had a lot of uh, backstory. A lot, lot more we to it. We saw him kind of grow up. A lot up more to it, yeah. From high school right. to like so. Into, three is a good score. Three point five, yeah, I give three. Yeah, yeah three point. I go three point five too. Mm-hmm. That's a good score. Yeah, um, I enjoyed it. If y'all disagree or agree, let us know in the comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good man. movie. Good movie. Just, just you know, I would watch it again. Listen, man, like everybody, like it's, it's just ranking, right? right like you know, it. and it's just it's just a three point five. Yeah, it's, it's equivalent to like eating a meal, but like I liked the meal. It was I enjoyed it, but is it as good as this other of this other steak? For me, man, let me I, tell you, like a three is like. McDonald's 10 piece nugget meal. Yeah. Right? You're going to always get it. And I'm always going to like it mm-hmm. while I eat it. Right. And I don't eat it regularly. Right. But it's always what it is. It's always what it is. <laughs> it's it's always, fries, it's large always, fries. It always is what it is. And it's a, it's better than a ham sandwich. Right. You know, it's, you know, mm-hmm. nice solid. middle, middle solid. of the road, yeah. solid black movie. Mm hmm. I agree. Uh, in too deep. Mm hmm. In too deep, man. Uh, we we dug it, and let, let us know what you think about the film as well. If you haven't if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Uh, Omar Epps, um, L Cool J, uh, go check it out, man. In too deep, we dug it. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. along with my co-host, Undercover Tone. Undercover Tone. You know what I'm saying? Another episode of Blackbuster in the books, man. Listen, man. I just wanted you to know. I was I was just trying to be there for you. Ah, uh, just gonna be there for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jay, you a cop? Yeah. You ain't no you ain't no podcaster, big job. <laughs> you ain't no <laughs> Yeah. I was just trying to be there for you, I dog. I was trying to be there for you, dog. I was just trying to have your back. Man, and that was that, that was that was an ending, but it was a it was a little non climactic. Yeah, yeah. Because like as much damage as J uh, as as God did the film, mm-hmm. um, he never got bloody. He never got beat up. He never got shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he never like yeah. there was there was no face off. Like uh, he never had to beat nobody up. I'm thinking at some point, some point in time, like God and Jay Reed is gonna squab and fight or, for the or gun. Have a, a, a tense moment, right? It should be a situation where he finds out he's a cop before the cops get there. Yeah. Like motherfucker, because or shooting at him and some shit yeah. like that, and they they and they have a shootout and then a, then a, then they fight. They chunk him. Last thought, because yeah, because I think that's what. I think when when Jay Reed starts to get confused and starts to test the waters to see if he could be the boss is a reflection of him losing track of what the goal is. Right. Because he's not there to infiltrate and take over. Mm. Even though he mentions that to, to you know, yeah. he's trying to take the guy out. It, it's, I think it's it's a great study. Um, Omar Epps is awesome in this. Right. And he earns all the flowers. To For me, 
Omar Epps gets five fifths in this for sure. Mm-hmm. Him as an actor. Yeah. Uh, L gets four, but the movie gets three and a half. I think L gets five. Yeah, L gets but five. This yeah. this role, this, this role, role, this in particular, particular role. Yeah. And if, if you remember, before I know, I was about to close it out, but I was I was talking about the LL Ice Cube situation. Like this role to me is mm-hmm. one of my favorite roles. Yeah. from LL Cool yeah. J. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, this dude is really acting. And even even when in in the in the, in the, in the, uh, in the courtroom when he had the glasses on the suit, mm-hmm. it reminds me of a college. It reminds me of Fudge. Like I feel like he could play the intellectual tough guy, mm-hmm. not tough guy like I'm beating you up, right? But like imagine. Um, uh, Malik in, uh, yeah, in higher yeah. learning going yeah. to get the homies to go fight the Nazis yeah. and he plays fudge and he fights the the lead guy. It's interesting because I don't know if I could see like like I to me the jury is still out. Mm-hmm. We need to watch a couple of more movies with LL in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I need to personally watch some episodes of NCIS. Mm-hmm. I need to see more tape. But what I will say is is that I don't believe Ice Cube could have played God. Right. right, I don't. Right. I don't believe Cube has that evil in him. Right, and Cube has played some tough guys, but Cube has never played an evil guy. Right, and I don't know if if Cube could pull off. He played somebody a that tough sinister. guy by circumstance. Like I'm a tough guy from the inner city. I don't take no shit. I was born yeah. and raised this way. Yeah, as opposed to like a sadistic ass yeah. guy that's like. Yeah, Doughboy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Doughboy, really, really. If you think about Doughboy, even the boys in the hood, yeah. Doughboy's biggest crime until he killed the dudes at the end for, for killing his brother. Yeah, is stealing candy. Doughboy, he Doughboy, stole candy. Nigga. That's why he went to jail. He's an anti-hero, right? Uh-huh. Doughboy is not a villain, right? Right. Cube has never played a villain, right? So when so going back to Doughboy and like the, I, I know the, the jury set out. This mm-hmm. is supposed to help my case. Mm-hmm. Doughboy or God. Because who? I think they're totally different. Right. Because Doughboy is not a menace to society. Right. right. He's just a hood nigga yeah. that drives a, you know what I'm saying, that sells a little cocaine. Yeah. He's like a, he's not even a corner boy. He's like a little street hustler that like, he's a knucklehead. he lives with his mom still. He's a knucklehead. Yeah. Yeah. He, he put all his money into that lowrider. He yeah. don't have no bread. He right. wore a t-shirt, a, a pro club t-shirt and some jeans. Yeah. Some Levi's. Ser- serves a little weed on the side. Yeah. He's not, he's, so when I say Craig is not too much different. From Doughboy, Doughboy, this, Craig just loses his job, right? Mm-hmm. He lived with his mama. He stayed on the stoop in front of his house all day and got a homeboy that sells weed, just like Doughboy does. He stayed on the stoop all day. He ain't going around gang banging. But in Craig's defense, he only did that once on Friday because he lost his job, right? Like, right. you know, but prior to that, he was at work, like his yeah. daddy. He was a working yeah. man, a working guy. Yeah. So, but he still stay at the crib. Like he he didn't work. He, he don't really work like that. He got a job, but UPS. Yeah. He he, uh, he, 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 he boxes. He's a boxer. Yeah. At, at the factory. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And he be asking his little sister for hey, let me to let me. Which is more house. than Doughboy did, huh? Which is more than Doughboy did. Also, yeah. Craig is not a convicted convict, um, like Doughboy was. So I but think we don't even know what Doughboy did. But we know he. We, we know he. We know according to his mama, I'm so tired of him going back in and out of there. Right, right. So I think that's where they start to. I think like it's, it's more they like start this. to. Div- All right, well, I, I know hood niggas. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I know hood niggas. I know game banking dudes that got real jobs. Mm-hmm. They still game bang. And yeah. I know guys that like who don't ain't really drug dealers. They're not gonna go to jail for ten to fifteen years. They don't go to jail for. Like, they do a little. Here's what we need to do. Mm-hmm. We need to get Friday on the list pretty soon so that we can finish this argument mm-hmm. of the 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 yes, the doughboy. Uh, Craig argument, mm-hmm. and I think when we watch, we watch Friday. We watch it for all the things that we watch it for, mm-hmm. but but look for the contrast in character, okay, between uh, Craig and Doughboy. Mm-hmm. All right, hell yeah, cool, absolutely. Hey, right, all right, this time for real, uh, we are out of here, man. Thank y'all for tuning in and tapping in with uh, Big Ja and Undercover Tone, mm-hmm. and uh, catch us next time, man, on on Blackbusters. Be good or be good at it. We out of here to the max. Pew Max. Blackbusters.